Alright, what's up everyone? It's Kaiser back on the mic. Uh, I'm gonna be quickly BRBing and we will I'll be back on comms very soon and like uh, adjusting the stream and whatnot. But in the meantime we're gonna have the winners finals match on stream now. We've also thank you Salty Paris for raiding with a party of seven. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I'll be back on comms in a sec. Uh, but in the meantime we got Nangs and win uh, Nick winners finals, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, uh, I'm back. Kaiser's back in the microphone. Uh, I'm not, I think this is still game one, right? I really want to say this is probably still game one. If not, goddamn, <laughs> that's a bit of a slobber knocker. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the first game. Cool beans, cool beans. I don't want to touch the black magic device because the audio sync is starting to come out of whack now. But after this game, it should be back into sync. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to pop my name on the commentary. Um, so these guys actually have pretty close sets, I'll say. But like, Nick is just the better player. Um, for like a fair few of the matchups, I would say. Um, Nengs did have a better performance at BAM this year than SA Nick did. And whether that's because of Samus or because uh, Nengs is just super sick. Um, or, you know, uh, that's, that said, Nengs did get like a mostly Falco bracket and like mostly Spacey's bracket at, um, at BAM this year. So he's got that, he's got a lot of experience playing against Falco with me especially. And also, yeah, he's just good against Spacey's, but Nick is not a Spacey main. He doesn't play any of the Spacey's when it comes down to the, like the big tournament moments, really. Uh, other than a few like Fox Falco here and there, for the most part, he sticks it out with Marth. Um, 
And props to him. Mott's fucking good. I'll be on. I'll be real. Mott's really good. And so, and I think it's a really good fit for for Nick and his playstyle. I love the outfit that Nings is rocking too. It's like. It's not quite like, uh, it's not quite like Young Lean Sad Boys level, but like, it's almost, it's almost slavic. Not quite that. He, he doesn't have the Adidas, he doesn't have the three stripes, you know? Uh, anyway though, Nick's starting to get a bit of a really strong lead now, and he's got, he's pretty much up full stock. That Rising Fair is really hard to, for Samos to deal with, but... Oh, big juicy tip of catching the F-Tilt, I think. Oh, yeah, if uh, Nick played his cards right, he could have finished that with a down air, like from the ledge, but he doesn't occupy it. Ah, uh, good DI from Nangs, though. Oh, catches the, catches the grapple, and that's going to be that. Right, I'm just going to quickly adjust the buffer. All right, that should be better now, stream. Oh, we're going to Dreamland, surely. Yeah, all right, so Nick actually has this puff just for counter pick reasons for Dreamland. Um, we've seen it a little bit here and there locally uh, over the years, and he still does bust it out in tournaments. So, like, if you want to be able to beat Nick to take the tournament here in Adelaide, chances are he's probably going to pick... Jigglypuff on Dreamland at some point against you and be like, all right, buddy, let's see how good you really are. Um, and bless him because we don't have, <laughs> ever since Milo dropped off the the melee planet in, here in Adelaide, ever since he dropped off for a little while, uh, we haven't had many puffs ever, really. Um, so it is appreciated playing against it, playing against Nick's puff, so. Still like a, quite a good player with this character especially. But though, it's only taking 62%. It's one of those matchups you just gotta grind it out, baby. Nick's puff compared to his math. Uh, I think his math is much better than his puff. But with that though, I think it's just like, like Nick's just a smart player. So I think puff like just works for him. Like, his moth is really cool in that, like, it feels like you can never, like, get a, a safe spot to, like, tech and stuff. And, like, uh, his moth is cool because, like, uh, anytime you think you're out of his grasp, he always gets you anyway. But when he plays Puff, he kind of uses that, um, he kind of uses more of his spacing game, a lot more of his spacing game, uh, which is still pretty strong. I just, uh, on this stage especially, basically the kind of the think process is probably something like, I don't know. I don't think it's as good as his mouth. To put it bluntly, I don't think it's as good as his mouth because he hasn't played and practiced with Puff as much. And, and it pretty much only does come out on the Dreamlink counter pick here. So, you know. Also, Nick is up a game and I forgot to put that in. Yeah, he definitely would not play Jigglypuff at Bam. I think, like, the long-term goals is that, you know, he does have this for the counter pick, but at the moment, he just kind of has been using it at the locals. Oh, that's a big one to get. Charge shot doesn't kill, and Nanks is probably kicking himself a bit there. That one does. It almost looked like he was going to live it, but... Alas, we are on a last luck situation again. So... I don't know if he's going to take this.
Uh, Ruben taking up the platforms a bit more now. It's kind of starting to work out with him. He's trapping Nick on, on them, uh, getting stuck in shield. If Nengs does beat this puff, though, I don't know if Nick is going to stay puffed. Stay puffed. <laughs> um, Oh, but that's going to do it, and Nick goes two up. I don't think that was too out of Nang's hands there. Um, but yeah, Nick just is a better player, I guess. And the Mart's coming back out now that it's not Dreamland. Slicing him. Yeah, just, I don't know, Puff can just power through so many of uh, Samus' projectile game and just generally moving way faster than Samus in the air. Oh, beautiful wave dash forward and then he yes smash the opposite direction. Some people find that find that in a couple deck deck sets if you, if you watch them, but um, also, it's also a Nick special. Okay, just paid my bills. Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> uh, misses the down air. It looked like it was going to connect. Uh, the thing about that down air is that the hitbox IDs prioritize the tipper hit, so it looked like it was going to dab uh, Spike, but it just didn't. It's not going to kill. Really good DI from Nick there to go more up than uh, out, because you got the higher blast zone here than you do the side blast zones. A really good punish there from Nangs. Nick had the DI and the ace DI to get the tech, but he did not tech. Room cleans it up. But it's starting to escape him a little bit. These trades are starting to go his way. If he cleans up this edge guard, it would look really good, but doesn't get it. A uh, bit of a jump read there, expecting it to go to top platform. And he's starting to get some grabs too, which means Nick is starting to shield a bit more. And he's starting to call out those shields. Oh, another down air! He's going to try for the grapple off the side, but, you know, he was sent so far to the depths there. Oh, those fares. Bit of a slack DI there on that down smash. Occupy the ledge, and that Nair's going to take it. Nangus does even it up. That stock to lose earlier was just really, really hard for him to bring the momentum back in order to take this. And Nyx is trying to swag out with edge cancels at the moment. It's basing around that down smash as well. Nyx is kind of all over Nangus at the moment. Oh! Use the charge shot to get through to get back to stage, but that could be all she wrote for Nangus. Nick does mess up the edge guard though. He's looking for this down air, and he's just trying to wait for this grapple to come out, but doesn't hold the ledge for it. Off stage again. Ah, oh, there it is. There's a down air. Nick takes 3 0 over Nangs, and up next is going to be loser semis, which is Flow Rats versus myself. So, stay tuned, everyone. Which is semis, Kaiser, Flow Rats. Okay. Alright, I'm hopping off, everyone. <laughs>